Okay, so it's been like, what, a week now since I've played? <laughs> Again, <laughs> as I always do with this game, because I wanted to finish, uh... Or no, I guess I had already finished Night in the Woods. It hasn't been a week. I just played this on, like, Wednesday, Tuesday? Something like that. Anyway, so last time we played, I beat, um... The Irish dude. <laughs> Don't remember his name. Oh, I do remember something really cool that happened. Um, so, uh, after I beat the the guy upstairs, uh, the Irish dude, or whatever, uh, the Garda Prewin leader, or whatever he is, um, and I came down, I did my thing, and I saved the game. Uh, because I had allowed Alois Al Al Aloysius, or whatever, the the rich dude. Um, I didn't change him into a vampire, and I didn't uh, kill him, and I gave him the option of dying on his own accord. Uh, so, something really cool happened. Um, yeah, Patty Fitzpatrick. Yeah, I, it's something McCollum or something like that, or Colum or something. Um, I think I should have the thingamajig... Oh, it's not there. Um, well, anyway, there it, it gave me like a little um, newspaper clipping. I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's right here, betcha. Uh, bloody diary, no. I'll be reading. There it is. Uh. No. That's not it either. Darn. I don't know where to read it at now. Okay, so anyway, long story short, uh, Aloysius Dawson died naturally, and because I had gave him, like, charmed him into believing, and it's true, that he should die naturally, and that, you know, it was fine and everything. He went back to his, like, old roots, and he donated lots and lots of, like, medical, um, stuff to the communities. So now everybody in all of the communities are healed of everything. So whenever I was running around healing people last time, I didn't need to because they were fine. Um, but that's fine because I was able to, uh, I was able to, um, not have to worry about anybody. So we're good for a little while. Anyway, back to the point. <laughs> I think I already done like this. There's nothing I can really upgrade. Um, because in order to upgrade this, yeah, I need two more aluminum parts, which actually, there is this, uh, one dude down here somewhere, right there, that he sells stuff, or no, other side, actually, um, What's his face might actually have it, so. This and is I need. No what? Is that you talking? Where is Milton? Uh, Milton. I need to buy some things off of you, my dude. I'm gonna talk to Pippa real quick. Maybe... Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. Oh, there he is. Never mind. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. You. Good evening, <laughs> Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Uh. Yeah. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Uh, do you have aluminum parts? You do not. Well, what good are you then? But I will buy all of your bullets. Thank you. Uh, because we still need to go save Edgar. 
And I want to get some side quests done. Then now I am in the situation where, since I did not change Aloy Aloy Aloysius, I don't know how to say it, Dawson. I didn't change Dawson. I um Good can't, evening, Doctor Reed. Such or I'll be attacked on sight. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Okay, you don't sell anything of any interest either. Can I talk to you about anything? Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Um... Did I talk Since about you're this? not afraid of dying, yeah. do you okay. believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Yeah, good for you. Okay, back. I don't care. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. Yeah, I can't do anything with you. So let's see what tasks I can do. Missions. Um, I don't have any more of those yet. Oh, okay. I wanted to do this. Learn where is the notebook stolen from Usher Tall Tree by Prewin agents and open your father's safe. Let's do that first. Um, so where do I need to go for that? <laughs> oh, it's all the way down here. Ugh, gross. Okay. I guess I'm not going to be any closer than I would any other time. I'm just going to have to deal with some jerks on my way there. Okay. Can I even get there? I've never tried going that way. Hmm. Maybe not. Um, we'll just, we'll just forgo that one for now. Uh, where is that other one? There it is. I would, let's do this one then. Nope, not that one. That one. Oh, okay, good. It's nearby where I need to go anyway. So, is there anybody special I need to talk to? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we're going to go around this way. And... Okay. Uh, so yeah, we need to get that and I was reading do not open his box do not open it and look inside but you know considering it's called Pandora's box that should be you know of, of itself hospital fool go back home well that's promising And here we go into the fray once again, because because these guys get stronger as I do. No steady, boys. We've got one of them. Oh, for Ow! 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 Ow. Oh, come on. Really? I'm going to get rid of you really fast. There we go. This guy should... There we go. Okay, these guys will come after me in a minute, but... Grab anything these guys dropped. 
first. Oh, I need to change which thing I've got on here. Regeneration serum. Uh, blood serum, strong serum. Light regeneration serum? Is that all I have? Oh, okay. Bear nothing. Sure is. Ow. Ow. Okay, and you're dead. Go down. There we go. Okay. Did you not have any items for me to pick up? Oh. Oh, one of these guys. We'll see how I fare against him. So... My best bet is to go up around this way. Ow. Was he weak against? Not weak against. Oh, darn stamina. I hate games with your stamina. Stamina, which is most games nowadays. Ow. There we go. Go down. Huh. Good handle part. They're not too bad. As long as I don't get more than one on me. <laughs> yeah, is he Loki? That's a good question. <laughs> no. That would be awesome, though. Uh, but that is a very good reference. Um, oh, that goes up that way, so I need to go... Eh. Gee, some of the sounds in this game <laughs> are creepy. All right, we need to go this way. Um, if I keep on going straight, yeah, that's where I want to go. Okay, yeah. Still going in the direction I want to. Over there! Okay, nobody else saw that. So they're in the theater there. I kind of want to go up and around, though. Well, maybe I need to go in the back. Or maybe it's in the theater. Well, we'll see. Easy does it, boys. Uh. 
Ow. That was just, oh, you. That. I can't see what's happening. Come on, get out of there for a minute. And there you go. And down you go. Come on, go down. Ow. There we go. Whew. And... Oh, I'm out of blood. That's fine. Um... Maybe I should go around back here and see... Well, let's go to the front. <laughs> I love how the other guy just walked away. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna go. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. <laughs> they must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Yeah, I see one guy. Executioner. Oh, okay. Oh, he's downstairs. Okay. How do I get to them? Yeah, I don't know. There we go. on my part there. Uh, okay, I need to change this one out now for regenerate 100 blood points. Um, yeah. Inevitably, that does heal me. Can I not, like... Oh. Is he stuck? I think he is. <laughs> He's glitched. That's great. I love it. Oh, shoot. My bad, my bad. Stop the fire! Adam. All right. <laughs> Investigate after Swansea kidnapping?
I cannot enter. Oh, I'm gonna have to find a key. Oh, sweet. I will take the the money. Okay, so this was. He is downstairs. I just don't know how to get to him yet. <laughs> Love that. Don't forget to check every door and you're all dead. Okay. Ooh, gross. Okay, so that's to leave, I think. I guess I'm gonna have to find the key on somebody. I'd almost rather I almost do rather deal with these like the humans than I would um any of the scowls and stuff. I love how surprised they always sound whenever I took him down. Alright. I know, it's like, what did you expect to happen? Like, what was your plan here? Don't forget to check every door. I'm still hearing people talk, so where are they? <laughs> Lord, give us strength. Lord, give me strength there. too. There's one of them burning. Ow. So glad you guys are like not strong against my these attacks, uh, melee attacks. You make my life much easier. Nice. Okay. Gotta find the key, I'm assuming. Somebody sounds way too happy about their job. Oh, I think there's just a mice. I was like, what's that? <laughs> just out of curiosity. Yeah, this is where that box is at. <laughs> So I had to come here anyway. Have no fear, brothers. Where am I hearing all these voices from? That's to go outside. Half this game is running around trying to figure out where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. And usually it's a really simple answer, but... <laughs> where am I hearing their voice? Lord, 
Also, I saw something sparkly. Or shimmery, not sparkly, but... Okay, I can't go down this way. And they weren't in there. Maybe this doesn't unlock until I killed everybody? Nope. It's locked, all right. Yeah, I see that. Me. Okay, maybe there's a way to get over there. Nope, those are bullets. Lead plate. I think I only need one more unless I've picked one up that I didn't notice. There we go. I just finished reading Doris Fletcher's journal. As painful and dreadful uh, um, as it was, my God. The woman, the woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted by infecting all who would come to her next play. Help me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of some Harriet Jones. Oh. Interesting. Who had been treated as a patient for a long time at the Pembroke Hospital. She clearly hated her mother, but used her fame and notoriety to see her while visiting the poor and sick in the East End. I don't know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before returning to the theater, and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Reed finally defeated. The presence of the vampire in the same hospital where Harriet Jones was treated can't be a coincidence. I am convinced he is deeply involved with the vampire plague going on in London right now. I am also convinced Swansea's Swansea is his accomplice, and that those two are planning something more terrifying than anything the guard have ever faced. Um, maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts the guards still possess to get some answers. It may prove useful. In the meantime, I better send some patrols to investigate about what is occurring at the Pembroke Hospital. Uh, it took me two days to parse through the dusty registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time like this. The search did prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be related to our present situation in a copy of William uh, Marshall's memoirs. Me Yes, I said that right. Uh, I took them with me to read more carefully. This creature, Marshall, says he fought in 1666. Uh, this disaster that aimed to destroy London. It is very similar to what happened with Doris Fletcher. Disease, infection, hate of the living, a desire to see the city ransacked. I have no doubt that the bloody old leech of William Marshall is behind all this and that he is back. This could be our greatest accomplishment if the guard could at last find and destroy the old bastard. I believe what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what Reed is now trying to do. Did the creature, this disaster, escape their will? Is it why Marshall destroyed him in 1666 and Reed did the same with Doris Fletcher before she became such a creature? I don't know, but those two are clearly working together and Swansea is helping them. I'll immediately give orders to have him arrested and interrogated. As for Reed, I'll destroy that evil beast myself and then we'll deal with William Marshall and this disaster thing, Prewin, will prevail once more. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Ah, and there it is, there's the key. Just had to find items in here. I'm not missing anything, am I? Before I go down, I'm sure I don't miss out on anything. All right. Nice. Okay. Remember your vows, friend. Where are they? <laughs> okay, there's one. Is he the only one down here? Very possible. Spring, shotgun shell. Okay. Better go home, sir. Oh. 
Are you bloody stupid? Actually. You! Get back in the grave! Ouch. Well, took care of that guy real fast. Okay. I go in this room. It's locked, all right. Okay. The Vampire Knight. That's an anime. <laughs> uh, William Marshall. Forget the legend about the man. The one, something about the you lazy bastards. Forget the empty tomb in Temple Church. Get the one among us who died trying to locate him. We, the guard, know that he is still hiding somewhere. That's the only fact we must keep in mind. Another small detail we need to keep in mind. This little fucker is clever. How many times have we thought we had cornered him to finally only find old dust and cobwebs? Marshall has been a vampire for a thousand years. We're no match until we change our plans concerning his hunt. So here are a few questions for you lazy bastards, and I want them all answered before speaking of another great hunt to pin the leech down, who helped him escape his den under the temple church. We now know for a fact that a private contractor was paid to move a large coffin from the church a few years before we investigated the tomb. What exactly did the traitors of Brotherhood of St. Paul discuss with Marshall when they meet in 1785 in London? The report of this meeting has been burnt, but witnesses remain of a request made by Marshall to access a specific book in their library. Why does the monstrosity known as Lady Blackwood seem linked to Marshall? They exchange letters. She went in London to meet him in 1786, according to the Brotherhood spies. Really? She tried to discreetly buy his castle in Wales in 1793 before fleeing when spotted by her fearless mentor Kendall Stone. See the pattern here? What happened during these few years? Why such agitation and activity? Answer these questions, my brothers, and you'll find a path to our most imminent foe, William Marshall, oldest vampire of England, to survive our righteous wrath. Hmm. William Marshall's memoirs. Uh... The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole finally agreed to me, and they proposed to me inside their new cathedral of St. Paul. Um, what a symbol to choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church, under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against this evil creature, the Dust Ostro, the Eater of Stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. Their primate, primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord, it took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate, but I may finally have found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Uh, pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I am ready to endure this excruciating pain. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Hmm. Until further notice, the safe will be used to store sensitive evidences. It must always be locked. If you need to access it, just find me on the last floor to get the key. I'm glad you remember to bring it back to me when you're done. I should find the key to that box. Okay. Uh. Can I go down here? Yeah. Edgar. Edgar. Can you hear me? Jonathan. Is it really you? It sure is. Oh, they beat you up. My poor friend. Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here.
Uh, but first, I'm going to set you down. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? You sure that was the wisest course of action? Yeah. Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I have doubts you are hiding something. I believe you. Hmm. I'm gonna choose to believe him. I trust you, Edgar. But the guard of Prewin is onto something. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Okay. Um... Why is the guard of Prewin so obsessed with him? I mean, it's kind of obvious. He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Okay. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Hmm. Why would the guard of Prewin believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. Yeah. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. Mm -hmm. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Okay. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know well, nothing about this that. all together, game. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Come on, Edgar. 
Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. Hmm. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother. A symptom of all the infected patients. Interesting. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. Yeah. And rabies is not the devil at work. <sighs> Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You Wait, that's what, what you did? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood oh. on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it. I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never no. asked to become what I am, Edgar. You! chose to conduct your rogue experiments you have <sighs> worked beside me you saw what i'm doing at pembroke hospital and a, a good Jonathan, will you no know i'm not an evil soul no i know that just another victim of this tragedy let die you deserve it embrace i'll make your death quicker Turn your sacrifice. You sacrifice three thousand. You are not going to die. Oh my gosh. Um. Mm. No, I don't want him to die. I don't know what the right decision is here. Um. Mm. None of these choices are good. I think him dying would be worse. Period. And he has a lot of respect for vampires. And he's fascinated with them. And I think he could do a lot of good as long as he didn't use his blood to like cure people. And he knows now that that's not going to help. It's going to make things worse. I'm gonna... I can't... I can't let him die. No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I... After all the At least I'm, said, he's kind of given him the choice. I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. All right. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. <laughs> He's way too excited about this, but I think this Enough. is the right decision.
Okay, well, that was a decision. <laughs> and now we're into chapter six. Hint failed. Interesting. Prepare to fight the disaster. Um, okay. Well. Old oh, love letter. Uh, my most exquisite friend. Everything is now ready. <laughs> Where the doctor would stab him. Uh, yeah, I was. that was a hard decision to make. Um, I don't know if I still made the right decision, but I am playing this without any spoilers or anything I don't want to know. And then I might look later and try to play like a perfect pac pacifist run or something. But yeah, whatever. Uh, my most exquisite friend, everything is now ready for our journey to France. We'll leave from Dover on the 17th, and we will spend the whole summer in Paris. I can't wait to taste all the delicate flavors that wonderful city has to offer, and I can't wait to try them all with you. Music, food, theater, architecture, perfumes, fashion, and you. Oh, what a delight it'll be. I already wrote to some of my good artist friends who will be as delighted as me to see you on a stage in French theater. Edmund Rosten should be there. I know you like his work very much, and I count on him to introduce us to the magnificent Sarah Bernhard. That would be the greatest achievement of this journey. I can't wait to hold you again in my arms, my sweetest delight, and drink again the source of your divine talent. Your devoted Calhoun. I don't remember who that is. Oh, that cat. That's right. I was like, that name sounds familiar, but I don't know who it is. Um, is there anybody around? So I still haven't found that key. <laughs> it's locked. Hmm. I may not be able to do it at this moment. I'm glad that we didn't let him die, because I don't I don't think he's a bad person. I think he just made a really terrible mistake. I think he's okay. I love how even whenever I was like looking down on him from up there, it was like he's healthy, and it's like, no, he's dying. <laughs> because He's clearly, um, was not okay. Hmm. Well. Uh He was talking. <laughs> Did it say? Um Find a safe key. Very confused about that. Fear no evil. We do the Lord's work here. Oh, wait. Oh, probably right there. No Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't really do a whole lot, but... Oh, for love of Pete, I hate you guys. Hey! 
There we go. I have it. There it is. I can now open the box. Yay. Okay, good. It's funny that they kind of showed up after that. It's like, oh, you actually, you do have to complete this before. I guess I could have came in here beforehand, but I guess at least I only had to, like, do it once. Just hanging out in there, dude? Okay. Okay. I really don't know if I should read this. No, we're not going to. Nope. Not gonna do it. <laughs> he told me not to, and I'm gonna respect that. Okay, so now I need to take it back to him. Um... I can go in through Whitechapel and go up that way, can't I? Say how many experience? Oh, I'm negative fifteen hundred. Ouch! <laughs> that kind of sucks. Oh well. I will return later. I heard that coughing. So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. Okay, so I need to go over there actually. Uh we'll we'll get over there. Um let's go this way first though. Best be on your way out. Mm -hmm. Die for <laughs> Ow, stop. Over there! There's one of them burning! There we go. Need to give some experience points back now. That, uh... I lost a bunch. Let's load up. And then, did I get enough uh, plates yet? Probably not. I did. Okay, good. So, let's do that. Sweet. Uh, I think I've got this one already. Yep. Got that one already up. Okay. So now we can change my weapon to that. Fun. Hmm. 
How's my mother doing? Hello Talk to again. her real quick. Jonathan, back already. Good, good. I was just about to go outside to find you. Please don't. You shouldn't stay away for so long. Uh, I don't think we have anything else to unlock here. So we still have one. Goodbye. Okay. Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. It's really sad because I can't actually embrace her, which is ridiculous. I'm gonna kill my mother. <laughs> I guess if you wanted to be like completely evil, it'd be kind of fun to do it that way, but. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Yes, I unlocked a thing about you. Have you any news on Aloysius Dawson? I heard he died and gave all his money to the poor. Now that's a good man. An example for us all to follow. <laughs> so, Let's see what he says. Did you try the restaurant I recommended? Oh, yes. I can't thank you enough, my dear doctor. Exquisite, but expensive. But what is money made for, if not for little pleasure? Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed the place. I do, Doctor, I do. Thank you again. Oh. Calhoun, tell me about your relationship with Doris Fletcher. Oh, Doris. Cold fire and burning ice trapped in a perfect body. Our passion was as intense as it was brief. What an actress. <laughs> you sound surprisingly sad. Have you regrets? I think of her as a divine dish. I'm glad I was able to taste it, but I regret I could only get a bite of her mystery. That's you a weird really way to say her. it. She fascinated me, Dr. Reed. I can't imagine what she must have endured through her life to reach such a level of emotion and sensibility. Okay. How did you meet her? On a boat to France before the war. She was thinking about a career in Paris, and I was eager to try French gastronomy. We both returned disappointed. I hmm. expect you've seen her on stage, too. She really is the best actress of her generation. Such frailty and such strength at the same time. I hope she'll play again soon. She's been away for too long. Okay. I wonder what it was that, like, the hint that I messed up. Goodbye, oh well. Mr. Russell. I'm sure you It's interesting how some things, like, literally you have to, uh, not answer the way you would imagine, basically. Okay, we need to go down this way. Oh, two of you guys, okay. Steady, boys! Hang of this. <laughs> I see. So it it has such like power because it hits it's a double barrel shotgun. For some reason that completely like went over my head before. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh man, it's an neck on. Okay. And yeah, let's see how it works whenever Stupid new boy. <laughs> No, I'm not. Oh, you still got me in the end. Oh, you got one more. Last hit in there, buddy. Good on you. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Now we can go down here. <laughs> this music's cool sounding. It almost sounds like Stranger Things. There we go. Good evening, Jonathan Reed. Can I help you in any way? Why, yes. I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewan stole from you. And you've brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? Yes. I give it back to you untouched. Then, my friend, you deserve a little something to reward your fortitude. Please, have this. With my gratitude. What's in the notebook? I can't answer you, Jonathan, since you chose not to open it. Oh. Have you any news concerning Aloysius Dawson? You unburdened his heart and cleared his mind. A most elegant solution, I must say, Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, um, so I need to... Goodbye, Give me sir. something there. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Oh, and the Empress, again. Uh, what was it I just got? I think it was a Guard of Prewind thing? Um... I don't think this is the one. Nope, that's not it. What was it? Oh, it's probably this. Uh, Brotherhood, they serve their mortal masters. Where the secret council comes I call it the Lost Library. It's a place where these traders gather many occult and lost books. I personally offer 1,000 pounds. The first you can give me the proof of existence of this library and its exact location. Uh, no. Okay. Um... Hmm, is that... I don't know. Okay. Fire Factor of the Scowls, History and Purpose. I'm not sure which one it was. I have no idea what it was. Yeah, oh well, I'll look it up later. The cards trying to tell us. Cause I feel like it was supposed to be something to do with this. Well, yeah, we may never know. The world may never know. Um, alright. So, let's go down and talk to... I wonder how I'm supposed to get down there, actually. To, uh... Like, do I have to take the sewers? To get down here? I don't know. I have to look that up, too. Uh, okay, let's go talk to... Ashbury. Lady Ashbury. Elizabeth, I love... Okay, so we took care of that. Those two weirdos are still over there.
At least these, uh, the bad guys don't, like, regenerate. In every area. Like, as long as you go to bed, or you don't go to bed or die, then they don't come back. Have I got my 100 points back? Nope, it's barely going down. <laughs> I guess it's going down, like, halfway. Tell him. Oh, of course not. I gotta deal with you guys. Watch yourselves. Ow. Back to the bloody crime. Fuck, he's dead. Ow. There we go. Uh, I need to get... Uh, this actually is the easier way to go. So let's go back. Hang on, where am I pointing? Yeah. So let's go back up this way. Okay, that goes in there. Women die too in this war. Hello, Charlotte. Goodbye, Charlotte. Support the equality between men and women. <laughs> Still need to find your final piece, and then I'll come back to you. Oh yeah, this is a short way over here to her. Ooh. Let's go dig it in the trash. Ooh, aluminum parts five. Of course it is. That's a lot, and the lead. Dang. Oh, when did you guys start showing up around here? Fine. Oh. I was like, who shot at me? Let's go talk to Elizabeth about what is going on. Lady Ashbury. Elizabeth. She and her... Yep, there she is. Okay. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? Yeah. Actually. What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? He gave no heed to ethics. He was stupid. He was a criminal. Uh, I don't want to call him stupid. 
but that might be the um Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? I mean, it's not your fault. No, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> Damn it. What what was that about? Uh oh, okay, so now I gotta get all this stuff. <laughs> Can I see her? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know where she went. That's sad. No, I don't think it's her fault I'm a vampire. I think it's somebody else. I think I'm Marshall's, um... The, the guy they keep on talking about. But I don't know what... What Elizabeth's connection is with that. But I don't think she made me into a vampire. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Oh, they're very far away from each other. Well, oh no. From Lord Redgrave. That's going to be a pain. Obtain a drop of King Arthur blood from Geoffrey McCollum. Search for insulin in the old morgue. Uh, just insulin. I love that. Uh, is that the garlic? <laughs> uh, well, anyway. We are going to go back towards this way. Dude. First, I'm gonna look in the trash. <laughs> we meet again, Mr. Kimura, in a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed, still visiting London by night? We must both be nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. Yeah, fair enough. Um... What can you tell me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. Hmm. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. Hmm. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. 
And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which <laughs> stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. Mm. Okay. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Yeah. Yes, astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. Yes? But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Pegasus, Draco, Cygnus. I want to say Pegasus is my mother's constellation. Pegasus. It was the constellation my mother liked the most. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations. Yet I barely remember my own childhood. Hmm. Did he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. Okay. May I ask you what you do for a living, Mr. Kimura? I am... I was... a landlord. A wealthy one. And... not a very kind one, I realized recently. Why hmm. this sudden epiphany? Is it because of your near-death experience? I was already feeling nostalgic about Weymouth, my hometown. With recent events, I'm thinking about going back there. Yeah, at least it made you uh, realize that you weren't How a good person. How is the situation in the West End? I've heard rumors about armed men patrolling and fighting infected citizens in these very streets. I was lucky they didn't shoot me when I was abducted. Why are you so nostalgic for your hometown, Tadao? I was focused so much on making money, I almost forgot that my relatives and friends are threatened by this epidemic. Have you heard anything from your family? I was not only a bad landlord, I was also a bad husband. I've not seen my wife and son for years. Busy, Jeez. busy, busy. At least now you're ready to go back and see them. But don't be surprised if your son bears a grudge, sir. You make it sound like you suffered from an absent father yourself, Dr. Reed. Well, I'll keep your warning in mind. Have you no friends at all? Over the years, I'm afraid my greed turned me into my friend's adversary, while I became friends with my professional rivals. Those you grew up with didn't share your views on money and success. Would you believe I was once a member of poetry circles and an astronomy club? We were young, such joyful dreamers then, that I stopped laughing long ago. Can you change? And is it what you really want? If so, it must come from within, not without. I've seen what an altruistic gesture can do. Nothing forced you to save me, Dr. Reed, but you did. I will follow your example in these matters from now on. <laughs> there is no need to thank me. Rescuing a London citizen should not be out of the ordinary. Though I'm afraid it may appear so in these difficult times. You did not only rescue me, you fought for me. You put your life in danger to save me. That's quite extraordinary. How will you cope if you're attacked again? I don't know. I've heard about these men and women who patrol the West End every night, chasing criminals like my abductor. Maybe I should join them. 
Have you heard of Aloysius Dawson? In his last hours, the man spent most of his money improving health care in the city. Now that's generosity. Yep. Yes, that's what they were saying in the thing. Well, I guess I don't Goodbye, have anything Mr. else to Tomorrow. ask you. Take care. Sometimes it'll say like a hint was unlocked, but I don't know. I think it may be like a hint to talk to somebody Who's else about it. Could be purer than that of William Marshall. Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Yeah, he's ticked at you, so good luck on that. He did, like, put a man out, hunt out on your head. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. We're gonna. I don't think I can do any upgrades because I spent three thousand to save. Yep. Okay, it's fine. No big deal. But anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I won't be streaming next few days, but I will stream probably next weekend. I'll see you later. Bye.